Today we are at the Naval Aviation Museum at Naval Air Station Pensacola. Yeah. We're actually camping closer to Mobile, Alabama, but decided to come back over to Florida because we wanted to see a couple of things over here. Um, one of the things we wanted to see was closed. Yeah. The old fort. There's an old fort here on Naval Air Station Pensacola. And then there's a lighthouse, which was pretty cool, but the museum portion of it was closed. You can, all you can do is go up the lighthouse. Yeah, and I didn't want to pay us eight bucks a person. I didn't want to pay eight bucks a person just to just walk up the water. stairs. Yeah, maybe, yeah. <laughs> We've done that before. We've done that. <laughs> so uh, I think this is going to be a lot more interesting. This is the home of the uh, Blue Angels. Yeah. So the Blue Angels are stationed here. They train here, and they perform here a lot. You can um, come watch them practice on certain days. And they we do, missed it. We did miss it. And they do a meet and greet, which would have been awesome. It would have been awesome. They only do that on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. And Tuesday was travel day for us. And we didn't realize. We didn't know what Wednesday. Until today. Yeah. And yesterday was Wednesday. So we just missed the, the Blue and Angels we completely. And we leave on Tuesday. Yeah, we leave on Tuesday. So we're not going to get to see <laughs> the Blue Angels this time around. It. But good reason to come back. Yeah. This is also the place where the F-14 fighter jet took its first flight. Yeah. So I'm sure they'll have some stuff, uh, information about that in there. Once we go inside, um, later on we'll let you know about admissions, how to get in here, mm -hmm. how to get on post, if they let civilians get on post, all that cool stuff. Yeah. inside uh, just because we're in our masks and yeah. and uh, we want to show this as much as possible because we did find out that uh, you have to have an ID card to get on post and the museum is on post so mm -hmm. if you are not a military ID card holder or in the vehicle with someone who's an ID card holder yeah. you can't get on but we stopped to vlog about this which is a very interesting aircraft because this aircraft is the aircraft yeah. that George Bush senior flew in World War II. In World War II yeah. on the aircraft carrier, which one? San Jacinto. San Jacinto. So this is very we, cool. And that was over, where was that? That was in Houston, where we saw San the, Jacinto post is. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. interesting. So very cool aircraft. Um, that's a little bit of the history that we found so far. If we find anything else that's really cool, we'll stop and talk more about that too. Balcony up here, you can get a better look. Uh, probably can't behind us, but you can get a better look from up here of the aircraft that uh, President George Bush flew in World War II. And we were reading a little bit more about that because uh, they have a little display here. And he was actually at the time the youngest pilot in the Navy. In the Navy history at the time. Yeah, yeah he was only 18 years old when he became a pilot. Um, did uh, bombing missions in World War II, yep. and one of the bombing missions actually didn't go very well. No. And he had to bail out of his aircraft and get rescued by a submarine mm -hmm. and then uh, brought back. So it's really just fortunate that he even survived yeah. World War II and then went on to serve in Congress and, of course, be the 41st first president of the United yeah. States. So a very cool history behind this. Yeah, I had no idea that would be here. No. That plane, that's cool. Very cool. So it's not just about naval aviation. They have a section yeah. here that kind of shows you what life was like back in that time. During the war Because right now we're in the World War II section. Yeah. So during that time frame, it gives you an idea of like how much a, a meal would cost at a restaurant or what the inside of a house would look like. Yeah. And uh, I mean, even hotel rates, <laughs> single rate, $1.50, double $2.50. <laughs> now it's like $150. <laughs> uh, $1.50 back then was, was very cool. So um, yeah. 
we'll walk through here and show you this cool little area too. Leslie taking a shower. Okay, there is no way you can do a five second free lather, soap up, and ten second rinse and get on out. Like, you're not clean. It's like boondocking. No, that's worse than boondocking. You can't get clean in ten seconds. That's impossible. I mean, you're still gonna be smelly. I'm sorry, you're still gonna have a fault to you. So, what happens if you break the rules? You lose shower privileges. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you lose your 10 second shower. Who knew that was a privilege? <laughs> and, and then you get reassigned to the water bucket brigade. Which I don't know what that is, but it doesn't sound fun. It doesn't sound pleasant, but. Ah, <laughs> uh, that would suck. 10 second shower. That's just crazy. This is really crazy. These three sailors, pilots, they were Navy pilots. They went down in the Pacific in January of 1942, had a compass error, took them off course, ran out of fuel, so the plane was going down, they had to ditch. They, they stayed on this raft right here for 34 days at sea. Three guys on this raft, 34 days at sea. They drifted 1,200 miles before they were rescued by the USS Enterprise. Can you imagine? being stuck on this little raft for 34 days. I mean, you would just have to think that you're going to die. It's insane. They didn't. There they are. That's been awesome so far. Yeah. Crazy. Lots of very cool stuff. And we typically don't show as much as we're showing here because, yeah. um, but, but the reason that we are showing more in this video is because of the limited access. Most places that we show, you can go to. Yeah. Most of you can go to. This place, most of you cannot go to. It's mm -hmm. only for uh, military to, to gain access to post to get in here. So uh, we want to show, members. yeah. So we want to show as much as we can. We just left the main part of the museum. We're heading over to the hangar. Yeah. Um, and have no idea what's in there. Well, I can tell you. Oh, um, what's in there? The women in naval aviation. The a couple of planes, Vietnam POW exhibit, uh, Marine One. Awesome. Coast Guard aviation exhibit. The Blue Angel 4D experience, which obviously is not going to be functioning. Yeah, there is a ton of uh, simulators in there that normally you'd be able to go. And they'd be fun to they do. They would be awesome. They had Blue Angel <laughs> simulator, and then they had a bunch of displays, you know, cut out cockpits yeah. of the different style of, of aircraft planes, yeah. that you could sit in. Normally, we can't mm -hmm. do that. but mm -hmm. um, So that's a little unfortunate, but so far, really cool. Yeah. Can't wait to see what's in the hangar. Yeah.
we're back in the truck now because it got a little windy outside and I didn't yeah. want that to interfere with us vlogging. And in the second hangar, we couldn't really vlog because all the cool stuff was right up front where they were like right there. Staring. So we couldn't yeah. take our masks off and didn't want to really vlog with our masks on because it's hard to understand. It is hard to understand. Uh, so we just chose to talk afterwards. Yeah. So we're in the truck and that second hangar was really cool though. That a was couple cool of hangar. things that I wanted to talk about that I didn't get to talk about in there. But first, the um, Marine, Marine One, One, which was awesome, is the actual Marine One for um, Gerald Ford and Richard Nixon. Nixon. Yeah. So they both used that Marine One, yeah. which is very cool. Um, they had the F-14 in there, which took its first flight here at Naval Air Station mm -hmm. in Pensacola. If you don't know what an F-14 is, go back and watch Top Gun. <laughs> uh, that's the aircraft that they used in Top Gun yeah. primarily. And um, they had the Tomcat. Yes, they did. That President Bush, um, W, 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 you know, <laughs> um, flew out onto the uh, Abraham Lincoln aircraft carrier, mm -hmm. and that's where he gave his his famous mission accomplished speech yeah. in 2003, you yeah. know, after the initial uh, raid on Baghdad mm -hmm. from Operation Iraqi right. Freedom. So um, lots of great history in there. Yeah. Very cool stuff. It mm -hmm. talks about all the Coast Guard stuff, more of the um, space program. Yeah. Flight and, suit from the last uh, guy in space. First women in naval yeah. Uh, flight. Yeah, and then there was a statue outside of the third naval aviator ever, ever. which was very cool. Um, it yeah, had the naval uh, aviator number three. Yeah, that's insane. It's just crazy. <laughs> and then they had the uh, the Vietnam POW, and the reason they had that in there is because of the uh, the pilots who went down and in Vietnam and were captured and taken mm -hmm. prisoner of war. It had some of their clothing that they wore while they were prisoners. Yeah. All the bracelets, uh, very cool history. Letters that were written to them. And then more information about their homecoming. Um, yeah. We were in there for two hours. Yeah. And we didn't see everything. We didn't read, or read everything. everything. We probably saw everything, yeah. didn't read everything. But we could have been there a lot longer. That's and a whole day's worth of stuff. Yeah, and like I said, normally we don't do a whole video. Normally we'll do three or four locations, a little bit of each one. Yeah. But this one, like we said, because most of you cannot come here in person, we wanted to do its own video. And it gives you a greater appreciation for what service members did. Yeah. And what they do. And we're not, like, highly knowledgeable of Navy, Navy no. history. Or aviation. In the aviation side yeah. of it, yeah. So was a, it was very yeah. interesting yeah. to learn a lot about. Because I was Army, I was a medic, I was a ground warfighter. I didn't, yeah. I didn't... I mean, we have people, friends that are, are Navy, but never, yeah. like got an in-depth history lesson so it was interesting it was very interesting and all the history and so if you're watching and you are a service member thank you so much for your service and your sacrifice especially those of you who uh went to combat um for any of you who were injured or prisoners of war thank you so much mm -hmm. uh you just can't express how grateful you are it really hits home when you go through a place like yeah. this so um yeah. we hope that you enjoyed it uh we had a great time here um yeah. one of my favorite military museums so far yeah we've been to a lot yeah we have been to a lot <laughs> so i'm glad that we got to come here today i'm glad yeah. it's not closed uh it was a struggle wearing a mask for two hours yeah it was <laughs> but well worth it um luckily you don't have to wear a, a mask while you're watching this you can just go <laughs> yeah. straight through unmasked you're totally safe um but um yeah we're gonna go for now um different video type but lots yeah. of fun it was a fun day. Yeah. Like we do at the end of all of our videos, we are going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to learn more about how you can help us help veterans on the road, everything you need to know is down here in the description of this video. We appreciate you so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye.